So you want to make some wine? Sure, you could buy a vineyard, plant row after row of grapes, painstakingly farm the land and nurture those grapes year after year through whatever random weather pattern flows through the area, and eventually get that bottle of wine that you dreamed of 30 years ago. Only to be told by your doctor that you better lay off the juice because you're 85 years old and have a failing liver. Or you could just buy the grapes from all sorts of already established and well-producing vineyards and blend your own. Hmm. That's what BNA Wine Group is doing, and oh, they do it well. The Rule 2009 Cabernet Sauvignon. Is it produced by a rapper turned winemaker? Ugh! No, actually, I believe Ja Rule actually is in jail, so it really has nothing to do with Ja Rule. It's just called The Rule because, of course, three rules for making a, a good Cabernet. Grapes picked at the right sugar level, fermented for a set amount of time at a set temperature, and, of course, uh, a fourth rule, uh, offering it at a uh, reasonable price, a fair price, a low price, actually. You get black cherry, raspberry, burnt oak in this. It is a really, really nice Cabernet. Comes in at about 23 bucks, so it is on the, on the higher end of the... Uh, lower price scale uh, for wines, but still, it, it tastes like something that should probably be more so in the 60 to $70 range. So you do get a good bottle of wine out of the rule. Bandwagon 2011 Pinot Noir. This one is probably the inspiration our ancestors had in their minds. They're looking into the future as they died of scurvy and their oxen drowned in the rivers as they were pushing westward on Oregon Trail, right? Yeah. That Everything I learned, it all came from the video game. Grapes come from California and Oregon. Blended together makes a really, really nice Pinot. Uh, a lot of earthiness to it. You get uh, lavender in there, rose petal. Of course, the berries, a little bit of vanilla. It's a nice, nice Pinot. Retails for right around 18, 19 bucks. The Butternut Chardonnay is one of my favorite Chardonnays. I absolutely love this stuff. It's the 2011 vintage. It's taken from grapes all over California, so you get a nice variety uh, in there and, and really uh, very very, very reminiscent of its name, butternut. You get the toasted nuts, you get candied apple in there, you get uh, like candied peach in it's, it's a very well-balanced Chardonnay, uh, very silky, very smooth, buttery and oaky, but not over the top on either. It's just all balanced very well. It is what a Chardonnay should taste like. Uh, retails right around 18, 19 bucks and totally worth it. There you go, look for that BNA wine label. They make some really, really good value-priced wine. Some that are certainly on our list of must-try wines for 2013.